Dr. Bonne Halwale is a one man who has made a name for himself through his way of mastering politics and the humor he always carried when delivering message to the public. Halwale was a sure bet of success succeeding Governor Paranya as the next governor of Kakamega County. <laughs> but there is one thing that the former Kakamega senator forgot. The issue is that Kalwala forgot that in Kenya, politics is still local. Now, before we go deep into the explanation, you might be watching me for the first time and you have not yet subscribed. Consider using this time to subscribe so that any other time, once we come out with such a video, you always get notified. And to everyone who have subscribed, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. In fact, the more you subscribe, the more you help us to reach more people outside there. Now, let us get back to our analysis. Halwale was going to have an easy task of campaigning and winning the Kakamega gubernatorial seat in 2022. And this was going to be an easy task if Halwale could have maintained to stay in Ford Kenya party where he was in 2017. And if not staying in, in Ford Kenya party, then the next move was for him to get back to Musalem Dawadi in ANC party ahead of 2022 general election. But again, he had the third option. Halwale could have moved to ODM party because remember we have three parties that they are commanding politics in Western. And this is ANC, ODM party, and Ford Kenya. So ODM was the third, there was the third option that Halwale could have gone for. But in his own wisdom, Halwale moved to, Ford, to UDA party, a party that was brought up by the Deputy President William Samway Ruto. That is where Halwale is currently struggling at. Now, four days ago, there is a statement that Halwale posted on his Facebook page and at the same time there was a BBI debate going on at the Senate. So this is what Halwale had to write and I will read it for you. The report that Senator Wetangula is strongly wounded statement has dismissed, has dismissed the BBI nonsense as unconstitutional is nice and sad. <laughs> he goes on to say, Nice because he has finally become his own man and joined the rest of progressive Kenyans. When he talk of rest of progressive Kenyans, he is talking about Hustler Nation and the UDA party. So he finished by saying, sad that despite being a lawyer, it took him this much long time. Welcome, Weta. He also put his post when he was wearing a for the Kenya t-shirt with Senator Wetangula there. This is was by then that time when he was the Secretary General of Ford Kenya. So, in real sense, Halwale is trying to war or welcome Senator Wetangula into the Hustler Nation. He's trying to insinuate that Senator Wetangula is now anti-BBI, that Wetangula is on his way to join the Deputy President William Samoy Ruto at the UDA party. But again, at the same time, the Ford Kenya party did not hesitate. <laughs> they moved again at the same time to respond to Halwale statement. And this is what they had to say. So this is now on the Ford Kenya party Facebook page. This is what they write. Please ignore some rumors and the publication by some paid up bloggers and other politicians like Halwale. The Ford Kenya party leader, Senator Moses Masika Wetangula, has has changed his mind on the BBI. That's the statement. Then they go to say, please, note that Senator Wetangula is fully supporting Building Bridges Initiative, and just like other legislatures, he had to dissect the document, pointing out partisan issues that were not well addressed, as no constitution across the global is perfect. So that is the Ford Kenya party responding to Bonnie Halwale's statement on the Facebook page. Now, Halwale was very carefully drawing this message knowing that there is a debate going on at the Senate. And Halwale 
knew that Wetangula might be going to vote no together with people like Senator Orengo and the team. And that could mean that these people are shifting their loyalty from President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Molo Dinga, for that manner, to one William Samway Ruto. Yet, in the beginning, they knew that one Kenya alliance, which is comprising of Senator Wetangula, Honorable Kalongo Musioka, Senator Gideon Moy, and ANC Party leader Musalem David, they were behind the Building Bridges Initiative. And even they have a way they are trying to craft on how they are going to campaign for this referendum when it is being brought outside there. So Kalwale was trying to remove Senator, Mala, Senator Wetangula from that group through the statement. But now they are referring to him as a blogger <laughs> and a person who is just there to speak without having evidence of what is talking outside there. Now there is also one thing that I believe and the issue is that Senator Boni Kalwale joining the deputy president in UDA party, he is going to add very minimum result to the deputy president campaign in 2022 general election. Because at the same time, Kalwale is going to struggle out on Kakamega gubernatorial with a candidate from ANC party and the ODM party. Remember, the ANC party is working very closely with for the Kenya party. So in that spirit, they are going to agree. In fact, they are crafting on how they are going to fill the candidates, both in Kakamega County, Vihiga County, Busia County, Bungoma, and Transoya County. So this one means they are going to agree either ANC to have a, to sponsor a candidate, then they will have the backing of Ford Kenya. Or if not, Ford Kenya producing a candidate for a specific area and ANC doing what? Showing their support for that candidate. So that one means a combination of Ford Kenya and ANC will be in Kakamega to campaign for one candidate against Boni Kalwale. Then another person that he will be facing will be an ODM candidate in that 2022 general election. So this will make Boni Kalwale to be too much busy to struggle out with these two serious candidates from these big parties. <laughs> so this is the problem where it's lying. And Musalia Mudabad was also clear that through the spirit when they had the by elections in both Matungu and Kabuchai. That is the formula that they are going to use. And if you do not got him, just listen to his, this statement. And at the end of this video, I'm going to add some issues there. Tuwe kitu kimoja, tushikane kama wa Kenya. Mimi na ndugu weta, tulisema tuwache kubishana. Kwa mambo ambayo haina mwelekeo. Na matokeo ya hiyo hali ya kutobishana na kushikana ya kawonekana. Kwa zile by elections zilikuwa bungoma na zikawa wa matungu. Kwa hivyo tukiwacha ubishana wa bure, mimi na imani tunaweza kuwa na nafasi nzuri sana katika taifa letu. Tujipange. Tujipange. Wakina macharia walijipanga. Wengine wakajipanga. Na sisi tujipange. So Kalwale is being seen as a man who is just wandering. And uh, if Kalwale could have stayed with Musalem David and Senator Wetangula, this was a sure bet that Kalwale will succeed Oparanya. But now, Kalwale is facing all these problems and he is still thinking on how he can manage to become the next governor of Kakamega, despite the fact that he is having these two heavyweights to face in 2022. And I'm sure in his own heart, if Kalwale is given a chance, he will be back in either ANC or Ford Kenya. But now, there is Governor Parana trying to move towards the deputy president. I don't know if Parana will add value to Bonne Kalwale, quest for Kakamega gubernatorial. But if there is value, then it's going to be very minimum value. Because the friendly parties are those three that we mentioned. But UDF party is a new thing 
in Western politics. They have tried it without winning anything. And thus confirms the evidence that there is worries in Dr. Bonde Kalwale camp. So this is going to send Kalwale home again if he's not careful. That's why Kalwale is keeping on posting about more about Senator Wetangula and also focusing greatly in ANC leader Musalia Mudavad, but not dealing with the issue of the Jubilee Party or William Ruto politics in the Western region as a large. We are going to see how things are going to develop, but my prediction is very simple, that the, mini, the, the chances of uh, Bonne Kalwale clinching into Kakamega gubernatorial in 2022 is very, very minimal. That's why he's out lamenting through such kind of post that he is making outside there. So thank you so much for reaching with me this far. And uh, if you are still watching, then you have not yet subscribed. Please do us a favor by subscribing. You will be helping us a lot. So this is the end of my video. And may good God bless you. See you in my next video.